Imagine this, an oasis in the desert surrounded by enormous sand dunes and packed with adrenaline filled activities. From sandboarding to terrifying dune buggy rides and incredible sunsets. This is Wakachina. We'll be spending the next 24 hours in this tiny desert oasis, so hit subscribe and follow along our journey in Peru. Welcome to Wakachina! Good morning, beautiful people. So we are in Wakachina, which is a really odd place. It's actually only 15 minutes from the town of Ica, although it honestly feels like there's nothing around because there's literally just this little body of water, a few buildings surrounding it, and then it's just desert for a long time. To get here, it's about five hours from Cusco, and we've just made it to this crazy little town. It's really, really tiny and cute and adorable and nice. Um, we're so excited to be here because it's just so unique and we have a few cool fun adventures planned here as well. Believe it or not, this thing is not a movie set. We actually said this morning this actually looks like a movie yeah. set but it's actually real this looks is... like they built it filmed a movie and kind of just left and then people just came here to live and build hotels amongst it it's really weird so this town which i don't know if you can actually call a town is only only inhabits 100 people so it's very tiny but it is a very small attraction and if you are making your way down south america it's definitely worth a stop because it is right on the pan american so might as well pop by here The legend of the oasis is really cute and then there's a few different versions but I think this one is the most accurate because we google translated the plaque over on the town hall over here so basically legend holds the lagoon was created by a beautiful native princess she removed her clothes to bathe but after looking in her mirror she saw a male hunter approaching from behind startled at the intrusion she fled the area, leaving behind her mirror, which turned into the lake. Other versions say that she fled, leaving a pool of water that she was bathing in, and that's what turned into the lake. And that the folds of her mantle, streaming behind her as she ran, became the surrounding sand dunes. So that's how Wakachina was created and also the princess's name was Wakachina. But other versions say that she was so sad by the loss of her lover that she threw herself into the lake and then turned into a mermaid and there's a few different versions that we found online but I think this one's the most accurate. So we're off to one of the many cool things to do here. But this one uh, is probably the most affordable one. <laughs> Seatbelts are like
this was like the guy just sent it like hardcore. Full on. He felt a bit loose, so you wobble and you he jump. Like a jump though. <laughs> terrifying. Way to make you know how you were saying the other day, like makes me feel alive. Like that's like one of those moments where like you're so close to death and you feel alive. Woo! <laughs> Amazing. So cool. We're standing on top of the dune buggy right now in the middle of the desert. That's <laughs> <laughs> such a thorn. <laughs> oh my god, no. I'm not going down there. I guess here we are. No, that is so steep. <laughs> like this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was so much fun! <laughs> <Ew. laughs> In a okay. desert, sandboarding, riding around in dune buggies, might just be the best. Might be pretty cool. Eh? <laughs> Got our beer. Yes. So we came to La Casa de Bamboo. Gracias. Wow. Mm. Yum. This is what dreams are made of. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is the second and last day in uh, the oasis. Usually when you say oasis, it's like a metaphor. This is actually an oasis. <laughs> and we are not done. We are done in Chikama, but after this we got some very cool local thing that you can do in Peru after that. Look at China! <laughs> so, if you haven't seen Chikama video, check it out. It's because I'm editing it right now. Wakachina. We're going to the town next door to something very, very exciting. So instead of hanging out in Wakachina today, because it's like a trillion degrees during the day, we've decided to come. Just 30 minutes away are a ton of different Pisco wineries. If you don't know what Pisco is, it's what they make Pisco sours out of, I guess. It's a type of wine that they produce here in Peru, and it's from Peru. But we're not just going to any of the wineries. We are at La Caravedo, which is the oldest distillery in all of America, which is crazy. So we're gonna do a tour of the distillery, a tasting of the Piscos, and we haven't had any Pisco since we've been in Peru, so we're very excited. Never had ever. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's a lot of achievements. As many as I have in high school. <laughs> On arrival, they offered us a chucano, which they said is a traditional Peruvian cocktail. I went with maracuya, which is passion fruit. And I went with lime. Let's see how this bed It's very hot and these are very cold, so. Oh, I think it's the alcohol. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. the Well, duh. Free fish good drink. How is it? It's very good, it's refreshing. Yeah. yeah, the sugar content of this grape is maximum 250 grams of sugar per liter. Okay, is the queen of the pisco grapes. Next step so after pressing grapes, all the grape juice flows uh, through this area. Once finished, uh, we call it cachina. In other places, the people call it mash. Okay. And that cachina normally the percentage can be 11 12 percent. And it's very, cu very curious because some people say that it's really easy to get drunk as well. Okay? 
<laughs> For that reason, they call it as a nickname, the panty droppers. Okay, it's, it's a little bit dangerous. <laughs> This place is very fancy. They even have peacocks roaming around the property. I don't think Max and I really fit in, but we're doing our best. That drink is strong, guys. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah, so okay. this is Pishko mm -hmm. and they can name it after the bird. Exactly. And okay. that's where it comes from. It's really beautiful. And to think this, I mean, we're still in a desert, guys, but yeah. there's grass here. Very pretty. Yeah. I feel like because we've just been in Huacachina in like a full on desert and now we're here and it's just such a different thing, but it was a 30 minute taxi ride to get here. So, right over here, we've just seen the uh, traditional way of making Pisco. So literally pouring the grapes into a pool, stomping it with your feet. And they had every single vat that kind of runs down and runs through to the next stage of processing. And now we're heading to what they call the mother distillery, which is the, uh, I think the modern way of doing it. So it'll be interesting to see the big change. Okay. So normally the best pisco that we make here, most of it, is aged for two years. Okay. Uh, it's much better like that because longer, the, the taste is much better. It's more aromatic, it's smoother as well. It's normal. Okay, no normal. This is strong. Oh, is it strong? <laughs> I'm so not good at alcohol. <laughs> We don't drink much, so we'll probably be a bit tipsy after this. We are doing this tasting inside the distillery, which I think is so cool. Yeah. Like we're actually where the pisco is fermenting and being made. And I think that is way cooler than just like sitting in a bar or a restaurant or something. Like, this is nice. It's right in front of us. Yeah. Okay, so there's two steps. First to smell and then to sip. Arriba. Arriba. Centro. Centro. Adentro. Adentro. Salud. Salud. And then it's up down to the center. Half what you gave him. Double. Si. Like that? Si, gracias. He doesn't want it. Well, beautiful people, we are done in Huacachina. We are tipsy. It was a lovely tasting. It was amazing. If you do have a chance to come to Huacachina, I highly recommend coming to the oldest distillery in all of America and doing a tasting. It was delicious. We're a bit tipsy, so we need to get empanada. And now we are off to our next destination, Nazca. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you and in the next one. If you haven't subscribed and you want to keep watching our Peru adventures, make sure you hit subscribe. Bye guys! Bye. What happened? You just sweat super fast? So fast. <laughs> Ooh, that was so nice. Many, there's so many people there, so I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> I was like freaking out a little bit. <laughs>